I'm back, Warriors. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. As usual, I definitely, definitely hope you guys are feeling great too. Today is not going to be so much a review or anything like that. I just wanted to talk about Bayonetta 2 and the Wii U and my experiences and everything like that. Because I love Bayonetta. I love Bayonetta. I played the original Bayonetta 1. Yeah. And I actually bought a Wii U, as you can see. I bought a Wii U just for Bayonetta. See? Bayonetta 1. It's the game. Bayonetta 2. It's the game. Oh, yeah, well. The game is, I'm playing the game right now, you know. That's it there. You see Bayo. Let's see if we can show you Bayo. There's Bayo there. Yeah, so I got the Wii U. Love Bayonetta. Love this woman. So, yeah, I got the Wii U just for Bayonetta 2. And it's, I don't regret it, the game is absolutely incredible, absolutely incredible, I don't regret it. Okay, most probably will this be the only game that I get yet, and you know, and Wonderful 101, yeah, but Bayonetta 2 is the reason I got the Wii U, and the game is godlike, I love it. The graphics, and one thing I have said is that, you know, I've seen some Wii U games where Maybe the games don't look too fantastic, but when I look at Bayonetta 2, the actual visuals, the graphics, the presentation, it looks better than some of the free, um, Xbox One and PS4 games that I've seen. And it comes down to programming. If, you, if the developers program sloppy, the game's going to look sloppy. Bayonetta has got absolutely no flaws visually. The game looks absolutely incredible. The graphical fidelity, the movement, the moves, the amount of things that they've packed into this game. The moves, the torture attacks, the Umbra Climax, the colossal epic scale boss fight. Every single boss fight feels like an epic adventure. You've got a stage, which is just a boss fight. That is how godlike the game is. This chapter will start, and the start of the chapter is a boss fight. And the end of the chapter is a boss fight. Because the boss fights are so epic. Amazing game. Amazing game. I can easily say this is the best game that I've played to my recollection. That I can record playing. Is that the best game? That the character development. Because you've got more characters in there now. You know. You've got like the wizard. Because I haven't finished playing Ben Letter. That's why this is not a review. Yeah. Because I could do a review. Yes I could. I could do. I'm going to do a review on Evil Within. You know. But it depends. I don't know if people want to see an, a proper review. Because I've already done a review. For um, a spoiler free review. So I don't know if people want me to do an in depth review of Evil Within. You know. Let me know if you do. But, Bayonetta 2, I want to do a review once I finish the game. And I don't rush a game just to do a review for numbers or to get views or whatever. I want to take things at my own pace where I can do things in depth. So, I've been playing Bayonetta 2 and I'm absolutely amazed. The um, alternate outfit she can have, she's got Samus' outfit from Metroid Prime. She's got um, Link's outfit from Zelda. She's got... Um, Princess Peach's outfit. She's got all these kind of incredible outfits and various different ones. She's got different types of like if you have like um her swords, yeah, she's got double swords and um, I can't remember what they're called. And she's got another um flame and ice um weapons. Yeah, I think they're called Undini or um Undine, something like that. Yeah. They have different move sets based on the weapon combinations or if you have the um, fists and legs there's so many different combinations in that game i am absolutely astounded the cutscenes incredible the graphical fidelity 
the story, the depth, the exchanges, the conversations they have, the character interactions. You feel in this game that they build on the character of Bayonetta that they already know, that we already know. But speaking of that, there are actual elements of Bayonetta. You know, you like this video that I put up there, pretty good in it. So it's like what I like about Bayonetta and what I don't like. I like that I have so much fun playing. I've had so much fun playing this game, it's actually criminal how much fun I'm having on this game. It's ridiculous. It's intense, it's fun, it's action packed, I feel powerful. That's what I always say about Bayonetta. Bayonetta is an overpowered character, but she's not overpowered in terms of how much bullshit she has. It's powerful in terms of the game doesn't limit you. But in Bayonetta, so I feel there is actually a glass ceiling. Like they actually have put limits on what you can do compared to Bayonetta 1. Bayonetta 1, I feel you could play that game almost infinitely. Whereas with this game, it doesn't feel like you could play Bayonetta 2 infinitely. It feels like there's a lot of options, there's a hell of a lot of options, but everything has already been set out for you. It's almost like the Batman games or the Lara Croft games, but Bayonetta just got 80 times more. But I do feel like there is a limit because every time you try to learn something new, it almost like it reaches a dead end. You know what I mean? But the ceiling is very, very high, and some people are not going to reach that ceiling. Yeah, I still haven't reached that ceiling yet because there's so much to learn. But Bayonetta was a game where you could play infinitely. You could almost play Bayonetta for years. You could play Bayonetta 1 for years and still learn new things. Bayonetta 2, I don't feel, has got that same in depth as Bayonetta 1, but it has got incredible depth. And they've replaced those hardcore in depth, depth, un underneath the underneath mechanics with just craziness. With everything is big and explosive and exciting and crazy, you know. And Bayonetta has always been crazy, but I feel like they've replaced everything with crazy. And the game is still fantastic. I absolutely love. Bayonetta, that's my game. I will not have got a Wii U. I will not have got a Wii U. I bought a Wii U and, and these games just for one game. Just for one game. I wouldn't have done it if I wasn't extremely passionate about Bayonetta. So I would say if you were thinking of getting a Wii U for Bayonetta, it is worth it. It is absolutely worth it. And I bought it so I can say it to you. I'm not saying it because I'm through hype or hearsay. I mean it. Bayonetta is God like that game is absolutely incredible. The reason I'm saying it's incredible is because I've been a big long fan of Bayonetta 1. I feel like the Wii U is like a world in itself, right? It's like you don't feel like you're a part of like the Call of Duties or the um, Halos or all those other type of games that come out on the thing like, I don't know, Castlevania and Street Fighter and Marvel and Metal Gear Rising. When you get a Wii, you don't feel like you're part of that world, but it's fine because Nintendo's got its own world and it's a, it's a, it's a very cool world. And will a lot of core gamers actually go towards that? Maybe not, but I would say give it a try. If you're a gamer, you know, you've got games like Zelda, Smash Brothers, Bayonetta, I think now is a good time to like try and give, give Nintendo a go. Give Nintendo a go. You know, because I know they did make a mistake in the beginning with the Wii U where they aimed at the wrong audience. You know, an unreliable, unloyal, unfaithful audience of casual gamers. So they targeted those wrong audience when they should have targeted the core gamers. Yeah, and I feel Nintendo with the Wii U, they can correct that mistake. They can aim it at um, core gamers and hardcore gamers and then the casual gamers will come look at games like I don't know Titanfall they actually tried to give a first person shooter depth and first person shooter fans didn't really flock to it they still flock to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare a game where they still play the multiplayer they don't even play the campaign yet they spent so much money on the campaign they tried to eliminate that from Titanfall and people didn't go for it because 15% of the hardcore gamers that like first person shooters bought Titanfall. But the other 85% don't care. They still want to play their Call of Duty. And so I feel like 
But the other 85 came because of the hardcore gamers and for pop culture. Bayonetta and Wii U, I thought they can claw back some of the core gamers if they focus on core gaming. Like they do with Bayonetta, as they did with Wonderful 101 and Smash Brothers. So yeah, that's all I really wanted to say about uh, my experience. I really just wanted to share with you guys that Bayonetta 2 is an absolutely incredible game. I love the game so much. I'm having so much fun. That's why I'm doing like mad videos. I'm trying to do like a different kind of take on it. You know, where I'm trying to do gameplay with um, commentary and stuff like that. And just mix it up a little bit. You know, and just, yeah, just still do video content to talk to the Warriors. And I'll say thank you to everyone for subscribing and talking in the comment section. I enjoy talking to you guys and interacting with you and learning new things, you know, because obviously I'm going to make mistakes. But, you know, with you guys' support and helping me out with your input, I'm going to keep on doing more better videos, you know, and more content for you guys. So I'll say thank you for watching. Um, and I want to say this, so far I've been playing Bayonetta, I would give Bayonetta 2 a 10 out of 10. That is how godlike the game is. Believe it or not, believe it or not, I would give the Wii U as a console 7 out of 10. I like Bayonetta 2 and that's all I've got to say about that. So yeah, that's me. Talk up Bayonetta, talk up my experiences, and thanks for watching. And until my next video, stay tuned. Thank you for the support, and enjoy life.